Yo, what a Millie gang. All right, we're off to a good start. Millie gang, you like that? We're starting off with a bang. You know what I always like to tell people to stock their 10 gallon with? A nice, gentle school of 10 iridescent sharks. If it fits, it sits. Millie. Millie's like, if it's biteable, I'll bite it. You want, you want hand scratches? Is that what you want? Oh my gosh. I am doing a fish tank review right now. Back on track with my stocking advice. You want to see how many goldfish your local fish store has in stock. What you want to do then is to buy every single one of those goldfish and immediately slam dunk it into the same 10 gallons. A good balance of tropical fish like the iridescent sharks, not to mention some angel fish, really contrasts with the non-tropical goldfish that definitely will fit in this 10 gallon. Some skirt tetras, glowfish of all shapes and sizes and colors of the rainbow. As long as the water in your tank is not all the way filled and you have a sponge filter, oh, this will be legendary. And arowana would be a nice addition. I don't see the typical Oscar either. They must be new to fish abusing. That's a weird way of spelling pro fish keeper. I also agree that an arowana and an Oscar, maybe some more African cichlids would be a great addition. The arowana could snack on the smaller angel fish. The Oscars could peck at everything. And let's be real, only the African cichlids are able to handle the iridescent sharks in a fist fight. It's way understocked and needs a huge pleco to clean the poop. They're missing the quintessential plecostomus. Now we already know this person is a pro fish keeper. I'm not going to change my mind on that, but the fact that they forgot the pleco is almost inexcusable.